There is a shortage of young people studying STEM subjects in the United Kingdom. STEM subjects are science, technology, engineering and maths. However, that presents a huge opportunity for young people to explore going into this field and moving into the world of employment. We see a large number of vacancies that are struggling to be filled by industry at present, nearly 40,000 roles. And as a result, the opportunity for young people to study these subjects and pursue a career within these fields can enable them to fulfil their potential and deliver a huge impact for the UK. The TMT Predictions Schools Challenge, um, it's a challenge that we set um, schools to come up with innovative ideas around the predictions that we make for the following year or two in the TMT sector. The school challenge is a way for people in sixth form, so 16 to 18 year olds, to get a lens as to some of the real life uh, challenges which are being posed of some of the largest companies uh, in the UK uh, and, and the world. Why do we do it? We do it for a number of reasons. We are passionate about trying to um, invigorate the STEM skills and capabilities. There's a shortage, we get hurt by that shortage, we think the economy gets hurt by that shortage and this is one way of contributing to that. We think innovation is a really important part of society going forward and we think this is a great way of stimulating that. So without a doubt the people in the schools have the best ideas. So tapping into you in schools to contribute through these challenges is a great way of seeing and hearing innovative ideas. Our clients like this as much as we do. They're interested in it, we're interested in it, we work together in it. And finally, it's tremendous fun. And what we found and been delighted by is the participants in the challenge have a really good understanding, sometimes a better understanding of how to solve these problems. They are challenges and we're not pretending this is, this is easy. So one of them was the confluence of mobile gaming and education. And then one of my favourites was um, the second-hand market for mobile phones. So the recognition that, that it's a huge potential market, it's a huge potential problem for society. Massive landfill, difficult to get rid of. By using and reusing that, we're being far more responsible as a society. What we decided to do was to get the capabilities of second-hand smartphones and create a solution for education in like third world countries where education is really expensive. The idea that we came up with was to take the second-hand smartphone and create a projector with it for third world countries. We thought that because we had projectors in our world, we thought we should give other people that opportunity to learn with that. When we won, I think it was a really good feeling. It was a great achievement to have. It's, it's always a good thing when you win. The Deloitte coaches are amazing. I don't think I could ask for anyone better. Without them, I don't think we would have won the competition. But they really encouraged us to practice over and over again until our presentation was just the best it could be. It's just a great opportunity. It's great. It looks great on the CV and it's a good process to go through. Since I've done the challenge, um, I've actually applied for the Bright Start programme to see if I have a chance. Hopefully I do. Uh, before I took part in the TMT's Prediction School Challenge, I didn't really have any ideas for what I wanted to do. I joined the challenge looking for inspiration. The challenge showed me that I was able to work not only by myself, but really good in a team. It taught me how to manage my time and it showed me how I can conduct research properly. It also showed me that I was a lot more confident than I thought I was. The challenge opened many doors for me in the sense that I never realised that uh, a business or office job was something that I would be interested in. But then when we found out that an apprenticeship scheme came up, I wanted to apply for that straight away. The advice I'd give to the schools taking part this year is to just go for it. No idea is a bad idea, especially when you have your team members and the Deloitte coaches supporting you every step of the way.